Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, abide with us. Now that the sun has run its course, let hope not be obscured by night, but faith's darkness be as light. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us your peace, and when the trials of earth shall cease, grant us the morning light of grace, the radiant splendor of your face. Immortal, holy, threefold light, yours be the kingdom, power, and might. All glory be eternally to you, life-giving Trinity. Our eyes are fixed intently on the Lord, waiting for his merciful help. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens, my eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of the lords, of their lords, like eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress. So our eyes are on the Lord our God till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt, indeed all too full is our soul, with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, we lift our eyes to you and pray. Confound the scorn of the proud, and graciously show us your mercy. Our eyes are fixed intently on the Lord, waiting for his merciful help. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song, if the Lord had not been on our side when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you foretold that your disciples would be despised on account of your name, but that not a hair of their heads is ever forgotten. In times of persecution, defend and revive us by the power and comfort of the Holy Spirit, so that we can be freed from our enemies and praised and praise your saving help. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. A reading from James chapter 3. Wisdom from above is first of all innocent, 
It is also peaceable, lenient, docile, rich in sympathy, and the kindly deeds that are its fruits, impartial and sincere. The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. In the midst of the church, he spoke with eloquence. In the midst of the church, he spoke with eloquence. The Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He spoke with eloquence. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst of the church, he spoke with eloquence. O blessed doctor, St. Francis, light of holy church and lover of God's law, pray to the Son of God for us. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O blessed doctor, St. Francis, light of holy church and lover of God's law. Pray to the Son of God for us. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray, bring salvation to your people. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. You forgave the sins of your people when, they, when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same spirit. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, won by the price of your blood, remain far from you. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you, gave, you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those of whom you gave up your life. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you gave Francis de Sales the spirit of compassion to befriend all men on the way to salvation. By his example, lead us to show your gentle love in the service of our fellow men. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.